A sales assistant's main role in the past was to greet and assist customers. Now they have to study consumer behaviour and enhance the shopping experience using technology. COVID-19 has changed Singapore's workforce and economy significantly. And experts say there is no turning back. Chloe Chu reports. Travel restrictions hit and planes were grounded during the circuit breaker. And by June, 35-year-old Muhammad Iskandar lost his job as an operations manager at Changi Airport Group's lounge. I thought I, I would be one of the people that my previous company wanted to keep. But unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Mr Iskandar says CAG had sent staff for reskilling courses with agencies like SkillsFuture and NTUC during that difficult period. The firm also received enhanced government aid, like wage and training support. But business conditions worsened and the measures weren't enough to retain his role. I just got married last year, so it was a bit of a, you know, a tight position for me and my, my wife. When I was not working, it was pretty, pretty hard to see her doing all the work. I couldn't, I couldn't leave myself with that. So I told myself, OK, you know, I have these courses that I went through. I'm going to definitely put myself into, you know, sending out emails and CVs and, you know, resumes. So I, I, took, I took the risk and went to a different sector. The reskilling courses helped Mr Iskandar find a role as a customer service officer with an online grocery company. The effects of the pandemic has caused aviation to be one of the hardest hit sectors thus far, with thousands of jobs cut. But for some of these roles, if the pandemic abates, experts say such jobs could return. There are other roles though that aren't coming back. Traditional industries like retail saw an unemployment rate of 9.2% in June this year. Workers like sales assistants and cashiers were let go with fewer people shopping in stores due to COVID-19. Retailers had to ramp up efforts to promote their products online. But the jobs that have been removed are unlikely to return as digitalization has changed workflows. For retailer BHG, it was already equipping its workers with digital skills even before the pandemic. Its focus on training has helped it retain staff. Workers have been trained for a retail environment that was valid and very real many years ago. So what they need to do is really learn new skills. The job roles, in a way, I, I think it's more an evolution than, than, um, than a change or revolution. And to keep up, experts say workers will have to quickly upskill and adapt to this increasingly digitalized world. Change in habits as people work from home and a lot of organizations uh, realize that actually they can conduct businesses without traveling, using digital platforms to conduct work. A lot of the jobs that are supporting the workers in the cities will go away and that really is a fundamental change in the whole structure of the economy. With the digitalization push, it's also likely that Singapore will soon require fewer lower skilled and foreign workers. A lot of these much more lower skilled jobs are already disappearing you know, because uh, COVID has brought about an accelerated pace of digitization. So I see this pace to continue. Uh, in fact, the foreign workers that are doing the more routine and mundane jobs will be replaced by automation. Going forward, employment in some sectors in the coming year remains uncertain. That's as government support measures will start to taper off and economists expect unemployment to worsen from the latest jobless rate of 3.6% before getting better. But there are jobs that will be on the rise, namely those that support digitalization, such as data analysts and cybersecurity specialists. These roles are likely to command higher salaries, and experts say those that undergo training courses sooner will reap the benefits.